Today, I am really excited because I have with me Hot Blog Tips, Brian Hawkins' crew. And I'm going to let Brian introduce his entire crew today. So, Brian, please take us down with your crew. Not take us down, because that sounds really obnoxious, actually. And I'm not used to Cheryl's darkness behind her today. I'm used to her vibrant colors. What is this, Cheryl? You're, you're really confusing me today. I just tried to look a little more professional. <laughs> I'm used and to green. I'm used to pink. I'm not used to the darkness. <laughs> well, right, let me Brian, take this off here. Brian, introduce I'm, I'm Brian Hawkins. Hawkins. With me. Introduce everybody. I'm Brian Hawkins with HotBlogTips.com. I'm here with, of course, with Carly, Cheryl Locke from Fuzzy Wuzzy Anna Pills. Where are you, Cheryl? In all her darkness, and Mitch Mitchell, and he's he's uh, curly, by the way. With <laughs> I'm just sharing dot com, and uh, I'll back to you, Carly. Okay, so this is the first thing we're going to start off with. So I keep on I keep on telling Brian, Cheryl, and Mitchell that um, they remind me of the Three Stooges. So we're going to start off with that. I want everyone to tell me which character they think they are. So, Brian, out of Three Stooges, which one are you? I'm definitely Mo. <laughs> and we're gonna, and we'll we'll explain this later. Okay, Cheryl, who are you? Actually, I have no idea because I've never watched the Three Stooges. <laughs> Mitch. Oh my! I don't Mitchell, even know who which it one is. are you. Oh, my God! You know, obviously, I'm Mo. Without a doubt, we have a video that shows all the funny stuff, and it's definitely Brian is definitely curly. Brian is curly. There's just not even a comparison. Okay. <laughs> all I know is somebody Sorry, poked somebody else in the eyes, and I want to be the one doing the poke and not getting poked. <laughs> That's all I know about the Three Stooges. Okay, so I'm um, actually let's start from the beginning. I'm going to tell you why I chose to have the Hot Blog Tips crew on. So recently, as everyone knows, I'm running and producing four video shows right now. And I just am not having any time to do any writing, and it's really, really frustrating. So recently I posted a, a post saying I'm looking for some guest bloggers. And so my, my website is turning into literally like a blog instead of a blog. So I'm kind of going, I really need some people to help do some blogging. And... As one of my shows is called We Plus You, which means what? Collaboration. And my tagline is called We Plus You, Conscious Business Collaborations. And Brian has a crew here with three people, which is what? Collaborations. So I thought, what a great way to teach people about collaborations. And Brian and I are in what? A group, right, Brian? What group are we in? A couple of them. Exactly. We're in one group called Social Media Superchargers, and we're in another group called Kicking Wait. It With Clout, which is all about what, Brian? About collaboration, like uh, boosting each other up. Collaborations, helping each other out. So I thought, what a great episode we could do about teaching about collaborations. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about collaborations. And so I'm going to ask all three of these beautiful people how, first of all, how they got together. So I'm going to start with Cheryl, because we're going to do some woman-to-woman -woman conversation here. So woman, Cheryl, woman-to-woman, -woman, what brought you together with Brian and Mitchell? Actually, I, I've known Brian online for like 10 years, from way back in the days of forums. He had one of the first forums I joined, and we didn't really work together, but you know, we would boost each other's posts up, and kind of help each other answer questions and all. And, and then one day, I used to read hot blog tips, and we've always stayed in contact. And when I started doing video, he said, could you do a, a couple of posts for me for hot blog tips to help people learn a little bit about video? I said, sure. And I started to write a couple of posts and figured out that there was no way I could do a couple of posts. So I just kept doing more and more. And as it's went, Brian and I have have just done more and more together. The Hangouts, Brian and Mitch have always been friends and I met Mitch through Brian so then he came in with us and it was just we've known each other for a long time and it wasn't anything planned. I think it just kinda happened and it's been building because we all get along, we all have very different personalities and very different talents so it works really well where one one might be a little bit slack in this area the other ones can make up for. So it was all purely accident, and if I had to do it over again, 
Uh, I'd have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so now you brought things. A couple things I think are key for people to know. You all have different talents, and see that is wonderful. Because imagine if all three of you had the exact same talents. That also could cause problems. I think one of the things people need to understand about collaborations is one of the beautiful things about it is find people that have different talents. So if Mitchell's really good at writing, and if Brian's excellent at blogging, and I know Cheryl, you're really good at technical. Is that not true? Some days it's true. <laughs> well, Until okay, it's so not. Let's go back to Cheryl for a second. I hear through the grapevine that your one of your niches is the videoing and that type of thing. Is that not your niche? Yes, it has been now. It it wasn't forever, but a few years ago, I decided I was going to do video, and it's something I really like, and she I can see benefit. Honest. With, without Cheryl, I'm sorry to interrupt, but with, without Cheryl... No, you're this, not You're not as sorry you interrupted, because now, yeah, now we're going to bounce back to Brian. So one of Brian's traits, we're going to go back to Brian here for no, a minute. No, I'm not, I'm not, wait, 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 let, me, let me just say wait, one wait, thing. Wait, 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 hold on, hold I'm, I'm, on, I'm time out, Cheryl, now Cheryl, I'm, in, now Cheryl, I'm intervening Cheryl, here. i got to say this. this, this YouTube channel, Hot Blog Tips, would not even exist. So she's being a little bit modest when she saw it. She's the one responsible for all of these videos. We we don't we wouldn't even know how to turn on. We wouldn't even me and Mitch wouldn't even know the a what a hangout was without Cheryl. We'll so I just I just, I just want to bright, bring that up because she's being kind of modest about what she does with for us. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's okay. Now two things. Two things I want to bring up. One, Brian's dead on on that. She Cheryl was brilliant by the way when it comes to that. And two, what I do want to say is, getting back to Brian, one of the things that you will see reel after reel after reel after take after take after take, this is what Brian's brilliant at, jumping in with his little quirky things out of the blue and making everybody crack up on the shows. So one of Brian's little, uh, I would say, traits is coming in out of nowhere, out of the blue and making everybody laugh. Although in this particular instance, he was jumping in with something that actually was brilliantly true that Cheryl is brilliant about video and I definitely want to say that thank you so much Cheryl for that because your 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 little videos on and tips which we're going to get back on cuz I am we are going to be asking each of you I excuse me we'll be asking each of you some tips for the audience on each of your niches so thank you for that Brian so coming back to Brian now so Brian what brought you to bringing this collaboration together I don't know. I you know um, we. I He's don't gonna know. I claim just, I brilliant. Just, I just <laughs> you know, Mitch just interviewed me on his blog and and asked me the same question and I don't know. It just kind of fell together. I don't know whose idea it was. I don't remember. I didn't even remember the whole part about Cheryl posting these blogs. And until she just said it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that now. Her and Brad were uh, doing posts on video, and I, I forgot all about that. So, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of came together. We, um, I don't remember when we decided it was going to be a weekly thing, but we just kind of got together and did it and, it, and it's and it's worked out very well so far. And we've talked about expanding it with other people, and but we don't want to make it too big, so it's it's kind of is you know we'll have guests on every now and then, um, but right now I just I just it's just kind of like a th I, I hate to can I say threesome on the internet? <laughs> I, I, I just, <laughs> okay, and this is another thing that Brian's brilliant at is babbling something out of his mouth that gets him into trouble. And for example, I think it was Mitchell. Well, by the way, Mitchell, do you like Mitch or Mitchell better? I'm just Mitch. Okay, Mitch. So Mitch, remember on I think it was the blooper reel or no, the blog post just came out. He said something somewhere and and he 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 no, wait, Brian mentioned a specific post and he said uh you maybe don't want to mention that one cuz something he said that was related almost to a threesome. However, it wasn't a threesome and he said you might not want to use that one as an example. Do you remember that? No, actually and, what it was is we were answering a question from another blogger about his blogging heart or whatever. Oh, that's and what Brian it was. That's what it was. And he mentioned something sexual. Yes, and he shows the thing, 
And I didn't know it. I hadn't seen it before. It. And That's I right. busted That's out right. laughing. And Cheryl said, Brian, if I'd known you were going to put that up, I would have warned you because she had seen it ahead of time. And then That's he looked right. and saw what it was. Oh, that was funny. And it was something about, yeah, exactly. Okay, so a uh, pre-frame here. Uh, no overtly sexual comments. This is a PG-rated show. Anyways, that's why I said you guys are like the Three Stooges. And more referencing to, excuse me, shh, 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 Brian. Anyways, most people, everyone else tends to be PG-rated except for Brian. Brian Hawkins, R-rated. Cheryl and Mitch, P-rated. Brian, R-rated. Anyways, so... Not anymore. I just took my hands out of my pants, so... <laughs> oh, God. This is a PG-rated show, Brian. Go get Sadie, for God's sakes, and feed her. And, and, Brian, you don't know how happy I am that I got the PG rating and you got the R rating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, if, if everyone else okay. really See, knew. this is going to be... This is where I tell my... This is where I get... Okay, Andrew, my editor's name is Andrew, by the way. Andrew... Note to Andrew, edit out the R-rated comments. This is a PG-rated show. Thank you, Andrew. Anyways, okay. So getting back to why we're here. So, um, Brian, most people, most people in our group and in our circles don't know what you do for a living. So actually, can you please share with everybody, um, no, seriously, like, what are some of your passions in real life? I, like, for example, I know that you love photography. Now, a lot of other people do not. I know, for example, that what you do for a living, because we've had conversations about other things. Could you share with people, like, what are some of your passions? And and I seriously would love for you to bring Sadie over to the camera because she's a beautiful dog. And just you know, share a little bit of yourself. And then, Mitch, I do not want to neglect you because you are a beautiful human being, and I'll be getting to it just momentarily. Um, uh, actually, because Brian has hogged the camera so much here with his R-rated comments. Brian, now share some passions and behave yourself. Brian. Okay, well, my, my passions have nothing to do with what I do. I, I drive a truck locally, tractor trailer, and I've been driving for 30 years. So that's not really my passion. It's just what I pay the bills with, and that takes up a lot of time. My passions as far as photography, I am not a photographer. I take pictures with a smartphone. So I wouldn't even call myself an amateur photographer. I just use my own images on my blog. So without the blog, I would have no need to take the pictures. I do have a fun with them, and it's gotten really fun with Instagram and all that. I like that. Um, my puppy, you mentioned her, Sadie. Sadie, come on, Sadie. This is this is one of my 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 uh, favorite girls here. Sadie, come show your beautiful face, Sadie. Oh, hi, Sadie. She's my biggest passion right there. I'm married. Me and my wife, we just celebrated our 30th anniversary last Monday. And we have four children and so far four grandchildren, all boys. So we have a lot of boys in the family. And you just came back from your son's wedding, correct? Yes, we did, from Georgia. And uh, we took a, we drove down there and uh, came back on Monday morning, I think, or something like that. And I have to say on camera, one of the things I love about you is that you really understand not just collaboration, as, as we can see here with your two partners. You spent, what was it, three days catching up on your social media activities and really, really, I mean, this is what I love about you. This I don't even know if you two know this. Mitch and Cheryl... We're in a social media group together, and he literally spent, what was it, one day, and he caught up on all three days of his social media activities because he, he was on his son's wedding, and he wanted to honor his commitment in the group. So he spent one whole day catching up on three days of social media activities to honor everybody else's commitment. Because we have an agreement in our group, it's, you know, mandatory three days of participation. He was gone for those three days driving to his son's wedding. So he literally caught up on three days of social media activities. And, and, that, and that shows you the commitment of somebody being in a group. So thank you so much for doing that. I just want to honor you on camera for your level of integrity. A lot of people in the group don't show up. They, they want to be in the group, and they want to keep their cloud score up, and they want everybody else to do the work for them, and they just you know aren't in the group. They're in the group. Their name's in the group. However, 
they want everyone else to like their pages and you know plus one their Google pages and you know plus one them in cloud and all this other stuff and and they don't participate yet they still want to be in the group and those are the type of people that I kick out and that's why as you see I'm constantly I personally will go in the group and say thank you for the teamwork you know take thank you for the teamwork um, collaboration thank you for the teamwork communication and I honored you that day I wanted you to have extra I wanted other people to give you extra love on your pages because you out of integrity took the time to do that so thank you for that that shows you the type of person you are well no problem it really wasn't integrity I didn't have any choice because they ain't got internet in Georgia well that but no you and that's not true you do have integrity because you didn't have to do anything you didn't have to you did not have to go back and do that you could have just said I don't have internet I'm not doing these three days except you still chose to do it that's the difference another person would have just said I'm gone for three days I'm not going to participate for those three days that's what I'm trying to tell you I'm distinguishing Cheryl if you were gone for three days you could have just posted or Mitch I could have done the same thing I'm having surgery October 7th I could just say hey I'm having surgery I'm not participating for four days I'm uh, you drove to a wedding for three days you could have just said hey I'm not participating for three days instead you chose to go back and do those days. That's what I'm telling you. It's no different when I had surgery back in January. I was doing it for my hospital bed. I could have just said, hey, I'm having surgery. I'm not participating. That just shows you the level of commitment. That's all I'm saying. Mitch, I want to come to you now. So thank you so much for that, Brian. Really. This shows the type of person you are. Mitch, I would love to know more about you. I know tons about Brian now. But anyways, Mitch, Thank you so much for being here with me. I never really, I've heard about a lot about you, and I've watched obviously oodles of your videos because of Brian being in my group. So let's let's talk about you. Like first of all, who are you? I know you have a website called I'm Just Sharing. I don't know anything really about you. So what do you do for real life? Like like you know, I don't know if you're retired, if you really work. I mean, what do you do? I am a healthcare finance consultant. Wow. My business okay. site is called ttmitchellconsulting.com. And basically, I help hospitals make money, and and, and 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 that's part of the business. Other part of the business is I am a leadership trainer, leadership diversity management, anything that has to do with employee relations. Um, you see right there in the corner the book I wrote called Embrace the Lead. Ooh, I, I love cover, it! I wish my cover actually looked like that. Someone created that for me to put online. I actually I I self published my book. I paid for it. This is before the days of. Of online publishing, so I actually went to a publisher's. I paid for it to be printed myself. The only color in the book is on the cover, where it's blue lettering. It's a white book, but it's a book. And you know, luckily I've made my money back on my initial investment, but I still got more books, and I sell it online as well as some other products. So you know, I, I like Brian said, I've been blogging at least for my business blog since February 2005. I'm just sharing started December 2007 and later on it became a big thing where I started talking about blogging and writing and social media and uh, you know I have five blogs another one is on SEO and you know websites and things like that another one is on finance you know I'm healthcare finance but you know you start learning a lot about other stuff and then I have a local blog which is called Syracuse Wiki where I talk about things regarding central New York. I used to live in Rome, New York. Oh my god. <laughs> I was director of patient accounting at the hospital in Rome for two and a half years. Well, let me tell you, I've had, well, I'm going on my 28th surgery, so Rome, Rome Hospital knows me well. Goodness. I had quite a few surg emergency surgeries there. In any event, I would love for you to guest blog on my blog about leadership. One of my courses is called We Leadership. As you as you know, my titles are called I am a lot about collaboration. Um, so my business show called We Plus You Conscious Business Collaborations. One of my sub courses, excuse me, sub courses is called uh, is uh, is about We Leadership. The show you're on right now is called Social We. It's a you know social we media. So as you can see, everything I do has some sort of word either collaboration in it or we. So I'm all about we or collaboration. So I would love to have you guest blog about leadership since obviously embrace the lead. You get what collaboration means and you get what leadership is about. So I would love for you to do a guest blog about leadership. And I would love for you to do blog. And, and yeah. you'll get something.
Absolutely, and I would love to read your book, as a matter of fact. And so now let's get back to Hot Blog Tips. So what, what I know Cheryl told me a little bit, what brought you to really want to embrace this partnership with Cheryl and Brian? You know, I, I, I mean, it, this is weird. It may be like Brian. I don't remember how this all started. <laughs> I, um, the only thing I can remember is that we actually just started out with the newsletter. And what we were going to do is we were going to send out three newsletters a week. And, and you know, Brian and I had been uh, talking about something. And I said, well, we've got to decide what, we're, what our purpose is. Are we looking to sell something? Are we looking to just to send out information? You know, what do we want to do? And I guess at some point we decided it's more about information than selling, although we do have links to all of our sites. And I just said, you know what, it, it doesn't hurt to go do something like this. Brian has way more people who know who he is than I do. And, you know, you admit to that. I've been out there a long time. And all I had to do was write. And I said, well, you know what, you're doing a lot of that anyway. And so that's how we do it. Now, Cheryl, uh, even though we met through Brian, we actually were talking all the time on uh, Twitter because she lives out west and I stay up late. So <laughs> that worked out well. <laughs> I think the three of us are all night owls. And I think it's another reason why I really loved you guys. I know I'm a night owl. I know I see Brian online really late, even though we're all in different time zones to some degree. I'm in California, and I'm up till sometimes 3 in the morning. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's yeah, crazy. Well, as Brian saw that email that I sent out about when I finally figured out about saving my lower third, and, of course, my lower third isn't even on here right now. Thank you, Andrew. You'll be doing that for me later. I love my editor. He's the most patient wonderful human being. Um, in any event, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I am always up to like really weird hours. I, I have my angel book by me at all times. It tells me when I see the same time over and over and over again. So, uh, yeah. And I'm really looking forward to each of you uh, guest blogging on your niches. So I know you love leadership. I'm going to have Cheryl do a guest blog on her wonderful technology and Brian's going to do a guest blog on blogging. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be really exciting. So now share, share one of your passions, Mitch. What is one of your passions? What is something you just absolutely love to do? Obviously, I know part of it's blogging because you love to blog. You know what? And, and this is not the common answer, but truthfully, I don't have a passion. I, when I, I really thought some time ago that I did, but I, I really don't have a passion. Uh, oh, I, I, can say, I, I can say my passion would be to be ultra rich, but that's not a passion. That's a goal. No. So okay. passion, as there's things I like to do, but I can't sit here and tell you that there's one thing that I like to do over anything. I, I, I don't have one. Okay, I challenge you. This is a challenge for you, Mitch. I challenge you that once we get off the show, for a week, just for a week, I really want you to think about, I want you just to think about all the things that you do in your life, whether it be, you know, you write a lot. So I guarantee you, think about all the things that you write about. I guarantee you there's one thing that you think about more than others or that you write about more than others, and you'll find that there is something. There isn't anyone that doesn't have a passion. Everybody okay. in life, now, everybody in life. That, I will counter that by saying I actually have it down on paper. I'm a very introspective person. I mean, I, I, no one well, is... maybe that's your passion. Have, maybe, you're, maybe, your, maybe your passion yeah. is that you're introverted or that you're very intellectual. Maybe your passion is, intell is, you know, is being intellectual. Maybe it's you're an avid reader. Maybe that passion is, is writing. You'd be surprised. Can I, can I help out a little bit? I need to help Absolutely. Mitch. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. If I help Cheryl, I'm going to help Mitch. Mitch's passion is pie, cake, and chips. Donut. And cookies. Oh, no, no. Oh, Brian. Follow him on Instagram and you'll see his passion. That's all I want to say. Oh, God. Oh, snap. Oh, Lordy. Here we go again. Okay, and then we're gonna then I'm gonna come back to all three of you and you guys we're gonna end the video after I talk to Cheryl. Um we're gonna I'm gonna have all of you with giving Three golden nuggets, three tips for the audience on each of your specialties. So, so Cheryl, I want to come back to you because we're going to introduce your favorite, favorite friend. Um, and so, Mitchell, you've shared your websites. 
Brian, after, I'm going to come back to you in a minute, and you're going to share your website. So, Cheryl, I want you to share one of your passions. We, know, we, we obviously know now that you are the diva of technology because this group would not exist without you. So let's talk a little bit about what are some of your passions? Actually, plants and animals. Yay! Uh, I, I, ra I, I used to have greenhouses. We moved outside of Vegas in the middle of the desert. So now I have cactus. I have probably over 50 species of cactus. Wow. And because that's what grows here. You know, right. otherwise I, I'd have other things. And animals. Uh, you can at any time pop and say, what are you doing, Cheryl? And I'm going to say, oh, I'm outside feeding the chipmunks peanuts uh, or the bunnies. We have wild bunnies, chipmunks. I could spend all my time outside looking at plants. and I have a praying mantis that I named because he's eaten the cactus bugs. And Harvey is my friend now. I go out and I speak to Harvey. Uh, as far as the neighbors going by, who cares? But I see an animal in my yard and I'm excited. <laughs> Yay, I love animals. That is so awesome. If you can, I'd love for you to get a really up close picture of the praying mantis. I love praying mantises. They're gorgeous. Actually, I have some and I haven't put them on. I've got a uh, two blogs that they're not really for anything other than sharing my pictures of my plants. I've got Yay. cactus picture and animal pictures, and that's myplantpictures.com and myanimalpictures.com, and it's just pictures. It's called I take. that. It's called my myanimalpictures.com and my plant animal. You have to send me. Um, you know what? That's another thing, you guys. Brian, make sure you get from them. Those Brian, look up. Brian, I'm talking to you. He's Brian, Brian's texting. Look. Brian, is his? I think his screen is frozen. No, Either he's that good. Or Brian, hello, Earth to Brian. Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know what you're seeing. I'm right here looking right <laughs> at you. Okay, his, his, it was like Earth to Brian. The screen is frozen. Can you make sure you get the links from? from Cheryl and Mitch. I want to get all their links so I can put all the information so everybody has the information on the back side. All their links to their businesses, not just their blogs. And um, I, because I want to get the pictures that she's talking about. The animal pictures and the all the pictures and stuff. So Cheryl, make sure you get all that to Brian for me. And oh, he's got Mitch. it. I want to get the leadership, everything, all that. Okay, Mitch? I, I I have all that, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I want I want right to put that. Of so, all so of their my business. goal is for you. I, my goal, I guys, right is I want to put together. I'm gonna just so everyone knows, and the audience also knows. I'm gonna be putting together a whole blog post about these guys. I want not just you know hot blog tips, but I want people to actually get to Anna Pals and also about Mitch's leadership. I think that's awesome, so they can actually read about his leadership stuff. I want. I mean, I'm all about leadership. I think it's a Fabulous, fabulous, you know, information. So I want people to actually be able to read. I want people to read his book and everything. I think that's awesome. So I want people to read fuzzy. my book too. Buy it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want people to read his book and the leadership stuff. That's awesome. So now let's get back to um, we we're talking about cactuses and animals. Sorry, I got off track there, but I, I you know, sorry, but my leadership is a passion of mine. So now I'm really excited about introducing Fuzzy Wuzzy Annapals. I want to meet. I want. I want to meet Grandma. Well, Fuzzy Wuzzy Annapel started off, I wasn't necessarily going, it's got stuffed animals, it's an affiliate site. It started off, I wanted to sell puppets because I think every kid and every adult needs a puppet because that's a way that they can express, use their imagination, they can be someone that they're not really, and they can have fun. And so I wanted a puppet site, but it ended up we had stuffed animals. I got myself a puppet, and I use her on Fuzzy Wuzzy Anna Pal's YouTube channel to tell animal facts for kids. Come here, Granny. Oh, I love it. Hi, Grandma. Hi, there. Hi. Can you see me? I most certainly can. <laughs> hey, Granny. A, hey, hot stuff. She's a bit of a, a video... She likes being on camera, and oh, she gets to travel. I imagine she does. She, through the power of green screen, gets to travel all over the world to tell her animal facts because she is the expert. Oh. And I thought it was a good way to 
like I said, I love animals and plants, and I thought using a puppet was much better than kids watching me tell them some animal fact. And the thing is, it's not so much, the channel isn't so much that we're driving traffic to our site with it. Sure, that's that would be great, but I look at it this way. If a kid gets one little animal fact that, that they can say, oh, wow, I didn't know this, and then either them, their brother, sister, somebody helps them go find out more information. The more they learn about these animals and things going, you know, other things on the earth, the more likely it is that they'll take interest and want to be part of it. So Fuzzy Wuzzy Annapels was, was just something and it just blossomed from there. Perfect. And I think it's, I can actually probably share a lot of your stuff on, um, Scott's page, one of my clients' pages, is, is all about anim, uh, animal facts. So um, if I, I can probably, um, now that uh, Facebook again is changing their algorithms, I, and I can put links on the page again, I can actually put you know, a quote and then put your link on Scott's page. So that'll be good. So it'll just go back to your page with the link, which would be good. I couldn't put links for a while because anytime you put a link on a page, you weren't getting any looks at it. It was look. They, if you put a lot of links on a page, Facebook thinks it's spamming. It was crazy. You couldn't do that for a while on Facebook. You could put any links, and now Facebook's allowed. Now you look at. I don't know if you noticed this. Did you notice, Brian? If you're putting a lot of links on a page, uh, you weren't getting any hits on your pages on the algorithms. Not not on your personal page, on your Facebook business page. It was kicking it out, thinking there were a lot of um, your algorithms. You weren't getting any looks on your page. Now they're yeah, changing I, the I, algorithm I all over and, again. And Twitter's kind of following the lead, too. I just tried to send Mitch the link. I tweeted him, and it wouldn't accept it. Yep. And, uh, it wouldn't accept that URL. That's why you were seeing on Scott's page, I was I was copying and pasting um, from a certain site, and I was putting by who it was. Anytime I attempted to put the person's um, actual direct link on Scott's page, it was saying I was spamming. So I'd have to put the paragraph of the information and by Debbie Hadley, by Debbie Hadley, by Debbie Hadley. Anytime I tried to put Debbie's website link, it would say I was spamming. It was pissing me off. I couldn't do it. So that's what I had to do on Scott's page. Now, if you notice, I'm putting the, the article and the link, article and link, before I couldn't do that. And if I did it with the link before, I was getting two views on the post. It was horrible. And so his page was crashing. So I, now the, apparently um, they're totally changing the algorithm all over again. So I'm starting from scratch again. Anyways, so let's we're gonna start with uh, we're actually we're gonna start with Brian. Brian, I want you to leave the audience with three awesome blogging tips. So for someone who wants to start with blogging, give them three tips. First, I'm gonna say kind of, and it's gonna Cheryl just kind of said it with with hers. We all kid around and stuff, and we're all well, most of us are trying to generate an income with what we do online put all of that aside and do what you do for yourself and for your readers if, if you're blogging or viewers if you're a video and podcasting for your listeners whatever you do do it and give somebody something of value this is something that Google is not well liked for but there's something that they've also been teaching the world online you have to provide some value and that and don't do it for SEO because it's you're just going to get kicked to the curb in six months and start from scratch. Find out what people are looking for, and if that's your passion, show them, teach them something, or give them what they're looking for, whether it's uh, how to do something or if it's an entertainment value. But before you do your keyword research, before you decide what your niche is and all this stuff, understand that you're doing it for other people that's the only way this thing works online if, if you're there for yourself you're gonna be by yourself I mean that's 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 number one and I don't know about number two and number three I'm just a blogger I don't a truck driver I don't know anything but I would I would try and kind of like the concept of word the whole idea of this video find people that you can relate with and network with them whether it's like we're doing here with hot blog tips what we call hangout crew or what you and I are doing on on the uh, Facebook groups Carly those collaborations work we don't have to do everything ourselves we get burned out trying to do everything all ourselves 
whether it's outsourcing, finding partners, um, or you know swapping ideas. You know, like I'll you know help you with your marketing if you will help me with my images or something. Whatever you're good at, find your strengths and network with other people. And finally, I, w I would just say, um, give it time. Don't don't be and you know beat yourself up if it takes a while. Blogging especially is, you know, sometimes some, we'll see somebody just take off like a rocket, and you're like, wow, I've been doing this for a year and a half, and they're already you know number one in those search terms and and getting a hundred comments. You can't compare everything that you do with everybody else, so. That'd be the the final thought. Just be your own self. Do what it, whatever it takes, and don't so much worry about what's going on with everybody else. Because a lot of times, can you also add where people can find you? Because remember, this is also a podcast. Okay, sure. You can you can. <clears throat> I blog at hotblogtips.com, and uh, almost. I have an online presence with hot blog tips almost everywhere on the planet. So if you search hot blog tips, you'll find uh, almost uh, every social network you can imagine. And what I want to add to what Brian said so eloquently is, you know, be yourself. Brian is himself. Brian can be a cut up, which is not a bad thing. I mean, that's just Brian. Brian is funny. He can be silly. And Brian is honest, though. That's what I like about Brian. Even though Brian can say sometimes, comments that aren't PG rated. He's not doing it in an old man dirty way. He's just being silly. He's just being himself. You know, it's one thing to say, you know, comments that are kind of a little bit not PG rated. He's not doing it in a rude, disgusting way. Just be yourself. Don't attempt to be something that you're not because people can see through that. If you're one way on one platform, let's say you're on Twitter, let's say you're on Facebook and you're attempting to be all nicey nice, and then someone goes on Twitter, and or like for example, what what Mitch was saying when when they showed the comment that that um, that that Ryan said, and they're like, oh my God, it was something that wasn't PG rated. You know what? They're gonna see it. So be yourself. Don't attempt to be something on Facebook, and then they go to Twitter and say, oh my God, Brian said that. I mean, just be yourself. Don't attempt to be something you're not. Just be yourself. Okay. So um, Cheryl, what are three wonderful things that people can learn about technology and what I mean by technology video because that's what you're doing for this group I was gonna say uh, the one thing you have to do is just do it uh, there's you don't need to get all into the technical parts of it if you want to learn to do video if you want to have a presence in video which if you don't want to I would slap you but just get a camera get a microphone in fact today I'm testing a microphone a dollar ninety nine you don't have to have every piece of equipment that the the big boys have you don't have to have all these things but if you sit and wait until you have everything perfect until you know every aspect of it you're never gonna do it so one of the best ways to do it screen share because no one sees you if you're afraid of how you look. You can edit it, you can redo it five million times till you get it right. Another thing are the Hangouts on Air that we do every week. Get in there and if you say, oh, but I don't want to talk to strangers, do it with people you know. I mean, we're looking at having different people come on as guests. It's a great way to get out there and get seen. Then with now YouTube hooking up to Google+. Plus. If you're not on Google Plus, get on Google Plus. Follow people that do video. Follow people that know a lot about using the social networks or whatever your niche is. And follow people that do things you don't know how to do so that you can either learn from them or figure out who to trust when you need help. Um, what I'm going to add to that is, Cheryl, would you be willing to put together a list for the audience on like some of those tools, like you said, the dollar ninety nine mic? Because that's what you said was so dead on. Most people are afraid because of the cost. So if you could put together a list of some some things that don't cost a lot, I think that would really help the audience. And the other thing is, YouTube has a plethora of how to videos, and I know Cheryl has put together a ton of them. So go to Hot Block Tips and subscribe to their videos. 
they Cheryl has put together. I don't know. I know I have watched. As I mean, I'm not gonna say zillion. <laughs> I was gonna say that word, but she has put together. I mean, literally a lot of them. And there's a lot of how-to videos that she has done on simple, simple, simple things. So um, Brian's gonna give me the link to their hot blog tips. Um, YouTube channel and all you have to do is hit subscribe and you can watch Cheryl's videos on how to do a lot of simple things so that'll be in the blog I put together as well so trust me you can do this it's not hard and you can also go to and I, I know Cheryl actually put together a video on this too you can go and do your own Google Hangout and just play around and then go to your your profile and delete it afterwards so people don't see it you don't have to hit so you can hit record see how you look, monkey around with all the dynamics, and then all you have to do is, is go to YouTube, make it private, so you can look it over and over again until you figure it out. You can go to your profile and delete it, so that way you know, you're know you not freaked out to let people see it and, to, and just do it over and over and over again until you start getting it down and just keep on deleting it and deleting it and deleting it. And then as you get it better and better and better, then you can put them up. So Cheryl's got lots of videos, lots, lots, lots you can learn. So thank you so much for that, Cheryl. And if you could put together, like I said, a few lists of some of those really not so expensive items, I think that'll help people out a lot. So thank you so much for joining me. I, I mean, I love you. I love your your you know. I love it when you break out in laughter. It's just amazing. And I'm not used to the darkness. Bright, bright, bright. I was like totally like, what is going on? I and love the theory, hat. I mean, I love the black and white hat. I'm just not used to the darkness. Change it up. I wanted to look a little more professional for your show. Oh my God, darkness, light, light, light. Okay, Mitch, what do you got for us? Give me some valuable tips for the audience here. Valuable tips. Um, well, number one, a valuable tip is find time and, and just do something. You know, one of the things we talk about all the time is writing your blog. And we did a video a couple weeks ago where we said, you know, blogging is hard. But, you know, it's one of the easiest ways to get your word out. If you're a business, it's one of the least expensive ways to advertise. It's the best way to show what you're made of. You know, really, if you're telling me you can't find 30 minutes to do one blog post every two weeks, or you're telling me that I can't think of anything to say, but you're telling everyone else that you do this business and you can't think of anything to say, you know, that looks bad. It just basically tells me you have no creativity, you really don't know what you're doing except to go one certain way, and I think that anybody in any single business, even Brian driving the truck, you find out that you can't always go that exact same way and do the exact same thing. Sometimes you have to, you know, branch things out a little bit. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, really, you've stated it, Cheryl stated it, Brian stated it. You got to be yourself. Don't be something that you're really not up to. Um, you know, people can feel if you're a phony, <laughs> they know it. So, you know, don't do that. And tip number three, well, you know, goodness, I, 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 I'm working on a number three. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have a number three. There you go. I don't have a number three because I, I'm not sure which way to go with it. I mean, I, I can go so many different things that are kind of all flooding my mind at the same time that uh, I guess tip number three at best would say, you know what? Check out our, our websites. Check out our blogs. Check out our newsletter. Check out Carly's newsletter. Carly, I'm assuming you have a newsletter. You know, Actually, I do some. My my newsletter is all my blog. You gotta remember, I run four shows, so my newsletter are my shows. Because we have to check out. Right, exactly. So actually, remember, this is a podcast. So what's your and show? You gotta say your website as well. So Mitchell, what is your website, please? I'm just sharing dot com. Perfect. That's, that's, that's Carol, website. what website would you like to leave us with? You can visit me at hotblogtips.com and you'll find everything about me there. Perfect, perfect. Well, as, every, as everybody knows, this is going to be a wonderful good night for now. However, I love feedback, so make sure you leave us some feedback. And it's been just such a wonderful time being with my wonderful Three Stooges that was here this evening. However, my Three Stooges are not Three Stooges. They are Hot Blog Tips. And you can always find them at hotblogtips.com. And you can find your host, Carly Alyssa Thorne, at carlyalyssathorne.com. 
and thank you so much for spending this time with us. I really value you, and I love bringing you valuable content. So for tonight, I leave you, and I look forward to sharing more time with you next week. Thank you so much, everybody, and thank you guys for joining me. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. And Mitchell, thank you so much for sharing, sharing with us who you are. And Cheryl, thank you so much for the laughter. And Brian, thank you so much for being you. It's been just wonderful um, sharing some time with you as always. You're all, you all mean a lot to me, and it's just been really great sharing time with you. Good night, everyone. Have a great night.